Hello everyone, Box of Music here. I know nothing about League of Legends, but Arcane has become one of my absolute favorite shows. The writing, the animation, the music, it's all so perfect. So I knew that I needed to make a Music Box project dedicated to Arcane. Now, I had an idea to do something a little bit different with the artwork for this one. So I wanted to document some of my creative process and behind the scenes as I worked. And I hope you enjoy watching this and comment below telling me who your favorite character is from Arcane. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I love experimenting with different ways to bring my artwork and music box creations to life. Ever since I made my Gravity Falls video where I actually used a separate sheet of paper for the artwork that went on top of the music box so that the artwork didn't get holes punched through it, I had this idea to try pop-up art. Normally my artwork is constrained to such a small space and in fact many people are surprised to see how small the music box paper actually is in real life. But since I had this new technique that doesn't require the art to actually go through the music box, suddenly my artwork will have less limitation on its size, which is why I wanted to see if I could make this pop-up style work. I was able to make my illustrations larger and thus create more detail. Usually, if I want to include a character's whole body, I have to shrink down the scale so much for it to fit in the music box paper. Or if I wanted to include more detail, I could just draw their face and not their body. But my idea for this pop-up art is that I can draw the whole body and they'll be popping out of the paper. And since they'll be taller than the width of the music box paper, it'll give a really nice illusion that they really are coming off of the page. I use a variety of markers that I've collected over the years from Prismacolor, Ohuhu, Sharpie, and most recently the markers and colored pencils from Spectrum Noir that I got from the box that Jazza sent me. Using the colored pencils on top of the markers really helped me achieve the grungier art style that I was going for. And in many cases you'll notice that I used blues and purples to give more interesting lighting and shadows. I had a lot of fun drawing these characters from the show, and I felt like as I kept drawing, I got more confident and kept improving. Some characters I am very proud of the way they turned out, like Jinx and Mel specifically. There were some other characters that I struggled a bit more with. For example, Jace, I actually ended up cutting off his head and redrawing it. And then of course there were other characters that I wish I could have included, but there just wasn't room for the length of the song. Now, I didn't film the behind the scenes of every drawing that I did for this project, and quite honestly, it's because I'm still getting used to filming while I draw. I feel a lot of pressure when I have a camera staring down at the piece of paper that I'm drawing on, and even though I know I'm allowed to make mistakes and erase or not even include the footage if I don't want to, it's just like having someone stare at you while you draw, and I feel like I just can't fully get into the zone. But I do love including behind the scenes and I know that a lot of you do as well. So I'll definitely keep doing it every now and then, especially when I do a more unique project like this one. And I'm sure I'll get used to it over time. Notice here that I used a very fitting marker for this drawing, powder pink. And also the metallic markers that I used really helped this illustration pop. Guns For Hire by Woodkid is one of my favorite songs from this series, and so I really wanted to pick some iconic scenes and major characters to include during this emotional ballad. If you've seen Arcane, I'm curious what your favorite song is, and let me know in the comments if I should do another Music Box project for Arcane. Once I had the backgrounds drawn and the characters cut out, I actually attached them using Velcro. I originally was going to use an accordion style folded up piece of paper to attach the pop-up characters to the background, I felt like Velcro would be sturdier, and I also thought it might make it easier to store because then I can just take the characters off and roll up the background.
Filming this one proved to be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated, mainly because I didn't realize how tall I actually made my Jinx drawing with the flare. It kept bumping into my hand as it went by. You can see here that I had to redo this a bunch of times until I got this right. I eventually ended up having to just lift up the paper really high up until it got into the frame and then slowly let it back down, which I think worked pretty well. And then finally, after I filmed it, this is the fun part of adding in all of the little animations. I had to learn a little bit more about the Fusion tab in DaVinci Resolve to get some of these effects that I wanted. And I actually had a lot of fun delving into that and hope to learn some more in the future. Here is a side-by-side -side of before and after editing in DaVinci Resolve. This turned out to be one of my favorite projects so far. If you've ever wondered why I only pick songs from movies or shows or games that I'm passionate about or at least have some interest in, it's because of this. If it weren't for the passionate interest that I had in Arcane, I would have never had all of these creative ideas of doing pop-up art and adding these special effects in posts and having the camera zoom in and zoom out just like in episode 6 how the camera zooms out when Jinx lights her flare. It's all of these little things that I can pour my heart and soul into this project because I have this passion for it and that's why I only like to choose songs that I have that interest in. And I think that this turned out to be one of my best projects yet. If you haven't seen the finished video already, I'll have it in the end card and a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this behind the scenes sneak peek of some of my process and how I create my music box projects. And don't forget to think outside the box of music.